Hey all, welcome to week 14 of teacher training and this week we're starting to work on inversions. So I'm going to be teaching you how to do Viparita Karani over a block, which is our restful posture. So when you're setting up for Viparita Karani over a block, what you want to do is lie all the way down, you want to have your block handy. You lie all the way down on your back like you were going to do bridge pose and from there you actually set up into set your bond a bridge over the block so do all the same things you would for your bridge make sure that your heels can be reached easily with your middle fingers and then you grab your block and you lift up and then come up on your toes and put the block underneath your sacrum so that's a shield shaped bone at the base of your spine I do mine vertically, and if you're short-waisted, you're still going to be on the tall side, but you'll go horizontally with your block. And then once you're there, you lift up one leg, followed by the other, and you take restful posture. You turn your palms over, and relax your shoulder blades down. Pull your low belly in. And be mindful that there's no gap between the mat and your block or your back and your block. Don't pull your legs too close to you. You'll create a gap. Don't do that. Keep them directly at 90 degrees, straight up from your hips. Now we're going to work on Shirasasana 1, Headstand 1. This is the one with the interlaced grip and the way that you find the crown of your head, which is the part of your head you're going to put down on the mat, is you take the heel of your hand, you put it in the bridge of your nose, you extend your middle finger, and that's the crown of your head. And that's the part of your head you're going to put down. When you take your interlaced grip, be mindful that you have your fingers interlaced, but that you have your palms open and your elbows come narrow up the shoulders. Your head is going to go right inside of that space that you made with your interlace. So we come down onto the hands and the knees and there's several ways to get into this pose from other poses, but we're just going to go in from hands and knees today. Forearms go down, interlace, grip all the way to the you should be pushing your hands together. Thumbs are free, and then you put the back of your head inside your hand. And then I'm going to be quiet for a moment while I go up. Shoulder blades down, low belly in, thighs engaging. Now that's how people go up when they're first learning. They do one leg, then they do the other. You can be up against a wall. Now I'm going to show you how to go up by bending your knees. So you tuck, and then you start moving your knees toward the sky, and then you straighten your legs up. Big toe side of the foot reaching skyward. You always want to keep your head below your heart when you come down from these poses. And then the last way to go up into Shirasasana 1 is with both legs together. I've got my interlaced grip. The crown of the head goes down. 
shoulder blades down. Walking the feet towards the face. You can work on pressing your heels towards the earth. Rest in child pose. 